Do you know what this is? This is the single greatest Sims pack of all time. I'm referring to Katy Perry Sweet Treats, a stuff pack for The Sims 3. Yes, I said Katy Perry. Katy Perry did a collab with The Sims and they made a stuff pack called Sweet Treats full of like the most ridiculous items you have ever seen. I think you can kind of see from the cover. Look at that weird cupcake gingerbread looking fence, the freezer bunny fountain. I mean, this pack was bizarre. And I, like many of us, feel very fondly towards it after all of these years. This is one of those packs where at the time we were all like, what is this? Why have you done this? And now, years later, we're all, like, obsessed. So one of my really good friends, Little Dika, has spent literally months recreating this pack in The Sims 4. He's also, like, made a bunch of custom new items for it. I mean, he has spent a very long time working on this pack, and it comes out today. I know I usually only do trailer reactions for, like, official Sims packs, but I feel like this one is worth reacting to. I have seen a few of the items, he's shown me some of them, and I've also named a few of the items. He asked me for help naming some things. Well, I should say, me and my Twitch chat named a few items because he asked me in my stream, so I can take the credit for all of them, but we can take the credit for all of them, okay? It was us. We named them. I'm pretty sure this trailer has copyrighted music. I think it's got Katy Perry's covers, and I'm worried about Katy trying to kill me, so I might play it muted for now. I know that's kind of sad. Maybe we could put, like, the Sims 2 soundtrack in the background. I don't know, but I just want to watch the trailer. Seriously, I, I probably could cry about this just thinking about Katy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Sweet Treats by Little Dika, wow. Truly, um, absolutely iconic content. The trailer is so well made as well. A person called Lumia made this trailer. I can link them down below. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, um, <laughs> I feel like if this is your first encounter with Sweet Treats, you, um, are in for something. I am so impressed by this trailer. You have no idea. This is so, so, so good. I don't even know what to say. This is, like, honestly better than some Sims trailers I've seen. I won't lie to you. Trailer by Lumia, art and community lots by Luddy Simmer, and of course, Little Dika made the actual custom content. This is incredible! Okay, so it's out for early access now, and it officially comes out at the end of April. Usually with CC stuff, I tend to wait a little bit closer to public release to do videos on it, but I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. If you're a patron of Little Zika, you get access to it early, so I'll link his Patreon and stuff down below. I happen to be, so, um, it's Katie time. Bring out the treats. It's time to get sweet with my new collection, The Sims 4 Sweet Treats. This is a recreation, not a port, of The Sims 3 Katy Perry Sweet Treats, a pack so polarizing and so iconic, I simply had to recreate it in The Sims 4. I was also dared to by Lil Simsy, so blame her. <laughs> I accept the blame fully. I'm so excited about this. Oh, wait, the candy jars are also completely functional. Oh my god. Okay, I installed it. We might have to make a video building with this this week. It's- this is my dream come true. Katie is finally home. I don't know if you can see this, but this pack is truly iconic. Turn your Sims town into candy -fornia. It's so bad. It's so bad that it's good. And now I have it in The Sims 4. Okay. Okay, so should we just place down all the items first? Should we start there? I've got an empty lot for us. Also, just for the record, I did wear this hoodie yesterday. I know. No judgment, okay? It's comfortable, and it's new, and it's my own merch, so I'm allowed to, and don't pretend that you don't do that too, okay? I know we all do this. We all wear the same hoodies over and over again. Don't say anything, and if you want this one, you can buy it from lilsimsyshop.com, but I just- there was gonna be somebody who was gonna say something, so I <laughs> had to clarify. Okay, anyway, big empty box. That seems like enough space for Katie. Do you know what? I named a bunch of the items in this pack, but I honestly don't remember all of them, so we're gonna have to look and see if I recognize them. There is a new floor. This is the glistening frosting tiles, a coat of frosting as reflective as glass. Be careful not to slip. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Do you know what? They're not even that bad. It's kind of fun. This is like perfect for not so berry. And look at the reflection. Ooh, wow, that's kind of scary. But look, the white. It's got a black and white swatch. The pink grout is pretty cool too. These aren't even bad. I like them. This is actually usable for, you know, your everyday. I'm, I'm sure the whole pack will be usable for your everyday though, obviously. For example, this eye candy paneling. This is the fun part of the pack, right? Where like a lot of these things are recreations from the original sweet treats, but but some are like concepts, new concepts that like, for example, Luddy Simmer designed. So this wasn't in the old one. It's new to The Sims 4. This is the eye candy paneling. Oh my god. You know what 
I quite like that. I don't know when I would use it, but it looks cool. I love the pink with the mint. We also have this sprinkle of mint crown molding. Oh, that's pretty cool too. It's more subtle. That could be fun for a kid's room. A lot of this could be fun for a kid's room or for the not so berry challenge. I mean, it all works. Oh, it's absolutely horrifying. I'm obsessed. Okay, we do have a door and an archway. Okay, so we have this door. Just think about how much time he spent on this, by the way. Think about how much time and effort went into this. It's truly incredible. Look at how well made that is too. It looks so good. Oh, the archway is awesome. No, we have to do a build with these. We got it. We have to do something this week with this pack because this is just amazing. We also have some windows. This is the bikinis, zucchinis, martinis, no beanies. All those beans hanging out. Thank you so much. It's like a jelly bean window. Oh, it comes in some. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a really nice window. How are you going to hide that really nice window behind jelly beans? Because like actually look at that window for a second. That is is really good. That's so usable. And then of course these are, these are a little bit more usable for like your everyday build. You know, it kind of blends in more to your, your average house. This one's a little bit too out there, but you know, these, these are more simple, more usable, right? We also have this one, <laughs> which is also, you know, much, much more usable. Gumdrop of support. Oh, wait, it's just a gumdrop. So you can put it on your gingerbread house builds. Oh, that is really good to know. Okay, what else do we have? I mean, the pack is, is pretty large, so we've got a lot of stuff to go through here. There is one thing I wanna start with though, okay? And this is perhaps, in my opinion, the best item. This, my friends, is the pre-made gingerbread house by Lil Thingies. If making a gingerbread house on your own sounds overwhelming, have no fear, Lil Thingies is here. Now, all it takes to have a perfectly good gingerbread house is simply opening a box. And now, I realize it's very small. I probably should have brought a sim here so I could get closer up to it, but I made this in real life. Like, I made that gingerbread house on stream around Christmas time, and then he made it in The Sims. Like, the actual gingerbread house that I really built and designed. It looks the same in the game. Isn't that so cool? Look, here's it closer up. You can even see, like, the mistakes that I made with the piping. It, that was how it looked in real life. I don't know whether to be offended or, like, really flattered <laughs> because it's so cool. I had, like, licorice and marshmallows, and I just, this is my favorite item to ever come to The Sims for. I'm so excited about that. Okay, otherwise, though, like, I said, a lot of these things are recreations from The Sims 3 and a lot are like brand new. For example, brand new Lil Simsy gingerbread houses. Oh my God. <laughs> this one, I named this one. So this is a gumdrop stage prop, like a, you know, a mountain maybe. Uh, Luddy designed this one. I named it the, the Squirty Cream Dreams Mountain. Uh, so Squirty Cream is like, you know the cans of spray whipped cream? I'm sorry to tell you, but they call it Squirty Cream in England. Like, you know, like Ready Whip? Like, I, you know what I'm talking about? Squirty Cream! Anyway, that I felt that was appropriate for this, so. Other items though, we have this amazing iconic bed. I named that. That's the sweet dream single bed. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, absolutely incredible. I'm so excited about this. This is the sponge cake cupcake armchair. We have this little dining chair. We also have this sugar cone throne. I named that one. I was pretty pleased with that one, I won't lie. Isn't this just so fun? I'm absolutely obsessed with this pack. We got a matching bar stool. This is the banana sit sofa, like banana split, but banana sit. We named that one too. I know, I know. Isn't that good? I, I will say, I can't take full credit for the names of these items. My, my chat was coming up with some really good ideas, but banana sit is what we called this one. We also have this love seat. We've got this lounger. Ooh, that's a nice one, actually. I mean, they're all nice, obviously, but that one looks cool. Here's the all that cake hanging out island counter, <laughs> because of course you need a full kitchen set for this. I mean, come on, obviously. Wow. Genuinely, I could cry over this. I'm so excited right now. Okay, we also have a dining table and a bar height dining table. We've got another like sweet temptations dining table. Here's the sweet dreams end table to match this bed. A shelf. We've got a picnic table. These are some giant peppermints. Sweet beets microphone. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that bedazzled? I think it's bedazzled. Wow. We got a guitar. Oh my god. It's like muffins. We have a bike. Drifting through the wind, peppermint bike. I love the Katy Perry references. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm absolutely in awe right now of all of these things. Just thinking about the amount of effort that went into making them, it, it makes me so excited. I, I love stuff like this so much. Okay, I named this one too. This is the swingerbread swing. Swingerbread, sw like gingerbread, but swing, swingerbread bread. <laughs> 
so sorry. I know it's a stretch, but um, it's the swing your bread swing. See, isn't that fun? It's a swing set. Oh, we have some pretty cool flowers too. Look at those. I love this pink and mint swatch combo. I think that looks so fun. Here's a little rose bush. Ooh, wait, that's a really fun, hang on. That is a really fun sign. I'm just thinking about like how useful that could be for other things too. If you're trying to build like a candy store. I know like a lot of these things are super wacky and not something you would use every day. Okay, I think we all can agree on that. But he definitely snuck in some items that are really good. Like even this chair, not all of the swatches look like that. You know, like this is a super nice like diner sort of style chair. Same with the bar stools. Like that's actually really cool and, and usable for other things. You know, maybe, maybe you wouldn't use the banana sit all that often, but a lot of this stuff you would. Candy Fornia girls, Daisy Dukes, bikinis on top. Oh my gosh, this is a picture of Katie. Oh wait, there's loads of cute swatches. <gasps> Stop. Oh my God, no, 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 no. I'm obsessed with this. That is super cool artwork. See, same thing. Look, they're obviously dressed in sweet treats attire, but <laughs> this is a really cool gallery wall sort of vibe. We got this art piece as well. Same thing, you could use this so easily. We got like pictures of cotton candy, donuts. I love the donut one. That is really cool. You know what? Major props to Luddy as well. I can link Luddy's account down below too. Luddy did a lot of the drawings for this pack. Oh my god. I love Katy Perry. I'm so excited. That is amazing. Wow. We're not even done yet. <laughs> like, we got a couple mirrors. We have this amazing stand-up one. We got this one for your wall. And because it's CC, you can raise it up and down. You can't lower mirrors that are made by EA, but you can lower this one. Last Friday's blinds. All right, we got last Friday's blinds. This super nice curtain set. Oh, it's horrendous. And I mean that with love. <laughs> it is absolutely horrifying. This one, this one he did show me in advance. This is the blooming cones. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say about this either. It's it's really, um, it's really something. This is the Kitty Purry statue. Made functional by Ravishing. How does it function? What do you mean? Oh, you can rename it! Oh, that's so fun. Give this stuffed animal a new name. Like, is it a toy? Can the kids play with it? Hang on, I'm getting a child. We have to test this. I'm sorry, but I need to know. Congrats, Stanley Humphrey. It appears you are now a father. <gasps> I can talk to it and call it names? Are you serious? Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Gingerbread daddy statue. You're telling me that's functional too? I can talk to it as well? Oh my God. <laughs> I, I won't lie, I'm kind of scared of him. I, I really am. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. How much detail went into this? Are you kidding me? How long did it take to make that? I'm really impressed by that. Okay, we also have this ice cream cone. Oh my god, you'll see tomorrow I'm posting a video rebuilding the iCarly set in The Sims. And one of the sets, like in the iCarly studio, they've got like this big ice cream cone in the background. This would have been perfect. <laughs> I literally just sized up like one of the ice cream cones that came with the cool kitchen pack, like the ones your Sims can eat. But this is exactly what I would have needed like two days ago. Cup caked up. Wow. <laughs> Miracle cream in a can. Okay. There's Simsy's gingerbread house. We got some cotton candy. Oh, these are the candy jars that are functional. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Wait, hang on. Look, you can actually grab treats out of them. Oh, that's so cool. Look, 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 look. He fully grabbed a gumdrop. Oh, that's so fun. Okay. Squishy treats, chocolate pot. <laughs> oh, it's a stack of Katie's CDs. Look with the album covers. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, what a fun addition. Oh, wow. All right, we got some giant cotton candy. Candy Fornia swirls lollipop rug. Okay. Oh, it's a glowing cupcake light. We got an ice cream one too. Oh, and a cotton candy one. These are so fun. Again, if you're gonna build like a candy store or something or like a sweet shop or maybe like a dessert restaurant, restaurant. This would be so fun to add in. Gobstopper. Wow, that's scary. This item is so cute too. Look, I love it. I love it. I love it. We also have this sweet life preserver. <laughs> We got this light. We got the lolly pal. I named that one too. I really like its little faces. It's so cute. We have a cones of light chandelier and the sconce that got away. <laughs> no, sorry, the scones that got away, like cone, cause it's an ice cream cone. Here we have candies do grow on trees. Oh my God, whoa, that's cool. And it's a light. Ignite the light and let it shine. This is a TV. Are you serious? Like a functional TV? Wow, okay. <laughs> 
It is. Oh my god. We also have this double stuffed triple stack of Oreos and also this Sweet Pleasures bookcase. Wow. Let's not forget we also have a fence. This is a garden and then it has a matching gate. Apparently I named that and I named it Perry's Portal. Um, I don't recall doing that. I, I won't lie. I recognize the gate. I, I don't recognize the name. I got a sim named Perry right now so it probably has to do with that but I, yeah I'm sorry. I, I can't give you some backstory on that one. There's no like funny meme. I, it's Perry's Portal. Wow and that's that's everything. I am. Um, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> this is truly incredible. Seriously, major props. Little Dika, this is so cool. I'm gonna link his like Twitter, his Patreon, Tumblr, like everything down below if you want to go follow him and if you want to download this. Obviously, it's not available for public release just yet. It's gonna come out in a few weeks, but I really wanted to show you it now because I was so excited. I didn't want to wait to play with it and I wanted to like give you a reaction. I think that I might try and do a build with this. I mean, we could build something super wacky and scary, but I think I might actually try and build like some sort of like restaurant or shop or something and see if we can get like an actual functional place with this stuff that maybe isn't too wild. So tell me in the comments if you want to see that. And also check out Luddy and Ravishing down below too. Luddy who did a lot of the art and Ravishing who helped make some of these items functional because this is just so impressive. I'm so excited. I'll link the trailer too if you want to watch the whole thing with the proper music. Can I tell you a secret? I spent like 40 bucks to get this second hand just so I could have a physical copy to put in my background. Usually it goes on the shelf right there but I brought it out so that you could see it. Usually I have it on display. I've got like a digital version of this already, but I spent a lot of money to buy a secondhand version of this on eBay because I wanted to have a physical copy so bad. I know it's dumb, okay? But like, to me it was worth it. This is priceless. You know what else? Tell me in the comments if I should make any sort of videos playing with The Sims 3 sweet treats because that might be a fun one to compare these or something. I don't know. Besties, I will make as much sweet treats content as you will let me, so maybe don't give me any ideas. And I guess with that being said, I will catch you all tomorrow. If you want to see some more CC videos. I'll play some at the end of this for you. Just click the end card and I'll see you later. Okay, bye everybody. The fact that I am literally near tears over Katy Perry again, I really cannot express to you how much I love this. It's so, so incredibly horrible. I'm, I'm obsessed.